Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and as you can tell by the title there's going to be a lot of pissed off people but these pissed off people are the kind of people that you know keep my channel going, they kept my channel going through the uh, two months off um, that I wasn't here, the of course the Susie Lou slash Steejo fans, well I guess Steejo doesn't really have any fans, he just kind of rides the coattails of Susie but whatever. So this is a situation that has already been covered. I know GG Reloaded has already made a video about this. And I wasn't going to, but a couple of people have mentioned it to me and said, you know, what do you think of this? And I thought, ah, it wouldn't hurt to make a quick video on this. So here we are. And the situation's still going on, so it's not like it's uh, died out. And I thought it was quite a funny situation. So you, you know straight away there's going to be those uh, Susie Lou uh, male horny virgin fans going, oh god, leave Susie alone, oh god, she's, she's my girlfriend in make-believe land, <laughs> yeah, whatever, get over it, seriously, there was one dude in the comments of my last Susie Lou video that actually started having an argument with me, and I, I argued back for a little bit, you know, just for, just for those hashtag bants, and then I was like, oh, I'm done with this guy's an idiot, he's still replying to me to this day, and I haven't responded to him, that is like some dedication uh, level to imaginary boyfriend. That's like, you know, next level imaginary boyfriend shit. Wow. I commend you, sir. Also, these Susie Lou uh, fans, they, a lot of them will watch, well, they, they comment on the video, why don't you like Susie? What's wrong? What's your problem with her? How are you going to comment what is your problem with Susie Lou on a video where I discuss my problem with Susie Lou? Watch it. That's like me walking into a movie, watching it and going, what's this movie about? Watch it, you fucking idiot. You're here, like, Jesus Christ, if you want to know, watch the fucking movie. You dumbass. <laughs> anyway, I digress. On to today's topic. So what has Susie Lou done now? Also, Steejo, sorry, Steejo has also done this because when Susie does something, Steejo follows that lovable wannabe lawyer rogue. We all think he's great. Especially me, number one Steejo fan right here. And his calculator. Shout out to Steejo's calculator. Um... What's, what, what's going on now? What have they done? Well, those cheeky little hypocrites. They are the biggest hypocrites ever. It's unbelievable. They are professional hypocrites. It's like they, they do stuff just so they can be a hypocrite about it. Like, it's like they're the sort of people that would, like, I don't know, something random, like, eat, like, ten fucking thousand pots of yoghurt and then make a video about how they hate people that eat yoghurt. It's like they deliberately go out looking for things that they can go back on. So... What have they done now? What what has Copyright Face and Studio done? The king and queen of hypocrisy have once again gone back on their whole thing about fair use. They are watching full anime episodes and air quotes reacting to them on their channels. And if by reacting I mean sort of staring at the screen and occasionally sort of looking like, eh, I'm... I'm not sure what's going on. That kind of thing, if that's reacting, but that's all you need, isn't it? And they're being very clever with it. They have the volume adjusted and the screen is made to be a bit transparent so that it doesn't get picked up on YouTube's copyright sort of automated system. So they're able to bypass that and still monetize their videos. Now, what I find, there's two things that I find very interesting about this. First of all, is the fact that so going back to the Mark After Dark situation, Susie Lou obviously um, copy striked Mark After Dark's video because he used a, a 30 second clip of her content which he altered. She removed the video. Now ultimately it did get removed stuff but it led to a big thing where Susie posted loads of tweets about her face being copyrighted, yada yada yada. Showing that they, her and Studio knew nothing about fair use. Anyway. One of the things she said to Mark After Dark at the time in a tweet, uh, I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember, so you guys can read it, because I've got it somewhere, but I can't remember what it is. But it was something along the effects of basically saying that Mark After Dark was desperate to get views, so he used Susie Lou, like a big YouTuber, to get views for his video, despite the fact that she wasn't, like, you know, mentioned in the title of the thumbnail or whatever, she was just in it, so that's dumb as fuck, but whatever. But that's what she said. Well, what's funny now is she's also like being a hypocrite because she's using these anime episodes to get views for herself. So she herself is using other people's work to get more views, which I know is ironic anyway because she uses video games to get views because that's someone else's work. But even more so with this because she's supposed to be a gaming channel. And if you look at her views, 
it's hilarious because, like, basically on a gaming video, she's lucky to get 6,000 views when she has 288,000 subscribers, yet her watching these anime episodes are clocking her about 60 to 80,000 views a time. So it's almost like Susie Liu is having to use someone else's work to stay relevant. So a little bit hypocritical and ironic once again that you're going to say something to Mark After Dark. Oh, you're using my face to get views. Um, how pathetic. Well, here you are using anime, like an sh anime show that you have nothing to do with to stay relevant and get views. Oh, the hypocrisy. It never ends with Susie Liu. It's absolutely unbelievable. And yet, her fans will continue to defend her. You just watch. There'll be people in the comment section in this video going, Leave Susie alone. <laughs> Fuck off. Seriously. It's pathetic. And at this stage, it's like she's almost going out of her way just to be a hypocrite. As we know, in her head, fair use only applies to her. So when someone like Mark After Dark uses her content, nah, it doesn't fall under fair use. Yet she's allowed to take an entire episode of a television show and react to it, air quotes, and that does fall under fair use. Yes, fair use was made specifically for Susie Liu and Steejo. Fuck's sake. And before anyone goes out and says, oh, oh, there's other channels that they also react to anime things just like Susie does, so why don't you go have a go at them? Do you know why? Because I don't have an issue with it. I don't have an issue with it. Oh, then why are you talking about Susie doing it? I'm talking about Susie doing it because Susie has gone out of her way to say um, that people can't use her content because it doesn't fall under fair use, yet she's doing something that is exactly the same, if not more, of using people's content than Mark After Dark. Mark After Dark uses a small segment of her footage and in her mind it doesn't fall under fair use yet she can take an entire episode of a tv show and it does fall under fair use allegedly according to her so what what which is it you can't just change it up when you feel like it but you can when you're Susie Lou because you're the biggest hypocrite alive so yeah oh well, that's pretty much all i've got to say on the mat guys nice short video for today and also i'm hoping that these brain dead Susie Lou fanboys because it's a short video they might actually hear the whole video and not comment what's your problem with Susie? Come on, guys, the video's already, like, it's, like, under 10 minutes. You can stay awake long enough, can't you? Fucking hell. Or maybe you got distracted and then went to watch Susie Lou watch some more anime. That that really cool content. Oh, God, yes, what great content. Susie Lou reacting to anime. Oh, yes. Fuck me. What has YouTube come to? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.